All right, guys, so I get on Instagram and everyone is tagging me and DMing me from the Common Hypes Instagram account. They just posted a shoe that I literally uploaded a video on today, like literally today. And for some reason today as well, they posted that they had my size on their account. This is literally meant to be. Now in that video, I mentioned that I didn't want to pay out of pocket for the shoe. I wanted to make a trade. So I hit up the boys at Common Hype and I said, hey, I have an idea. So we're gonna FaceTime them right now and I'm gonna be making them an offer for that shoe if they're willing to do a trade. I'm gonna offer them a mystery box. They are now getting into the world of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's a content opportunity for them. It's a content opportunity for me. You're gonna box. give them a mystery box? They don't but know I'm not what's gonna, in it? That, and that, they have to give you that shoe? They have to give me that shoe in I exchange for a mystery box. Well, that's the thing. Are you gonna tell us what's in the mystery box? Well, that's the content opportunity is that you're gonna have to go to their channel to unbox it and see who won the trade. So let's go ahead and call them. All right. Yeah. What's up, Papa Tyson? You guys still remember me, right? You guys' price went up because you had FaZe in the building. Yeah, oh, this guy. <laughs> All right, so this this call is about that shoe. You guys are YouTubers now, right? So you're always looking, looking at ways to make content. So I have a content opportunity for you guys. Uh-huh. I propose a trade. Oh, I like a good trade. Okay, but here's the catch. I'm gonna send you guys a mystery box worth the same amount of the value of that shoe. And I'm gonna send you guys dead stock pairs that I know you could sell, and that's that's the offer. Interesting. You know, you know, when you came into AZ, you said you've been smarter about buying new shoes because you, you rinse and repeat. The question is, what bricks are you throwing off to me? <laughs> no, there will, I promise you, there is no bricks. I have a few dead stock pairs that are pretty solid. They're pairs that I've seen you guys buying off your ch in your in on your channel. So I know it's stuff uh -huh. you guys move. Okay. I'm not gonna be sending you no PSG Jordan 7s or anything like that, don't worry. As long as you know. I'm gonna go through your website and see what you guys have the certain pairs in the sizes listed at so that I make sure it's the right value and it equals out to $2,000 or $2,100. Really? Yeah, you know, I've, I've, I'm thinking about it right now. Sounded pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. You wanna do it? Thought, so honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna be like, yo, $500, I'll shout you out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, you out. I'll, you out. I'll pay you for a shout out. You know what? You know what? Actually, that's what we do, but we can't do it, so we got to do it virtually. Shake it. Shake it. Virtual handshake right yeah. there. That's right. 4K caught, right. HDR, handshake and everything. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> However, if you like anything else, make sure to come, shop common at easy.com 25.8. Link down below. I got you. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. All right, guys, so the deal is official. It's going down. Let me show you guys just some of the stuff I have. I haven't decided what I'm gonna be trading yet, but this is my pile of shoes that I haven't like touched. I've made videos on and I haven't decided what I'm getting rid of yet. Obviously, these are Minas. So I need to add these to your collection. Do I wanna, do I wanna include these? Do I wanna include these? I think this might be one that I am gonna include because uh, I don't really want these. Is this, wait, depending on which colorway it is. Okay, yeah, these for sure. I know that they can move these. You're literally showing them everything that's going in the box. No, I'm not showing everything yet. I'm saying, tease it a little bit. This is a good one that I know that they can move, but I don't know if I want to part ways with it yet. I feel like this is a shoe that's gonna eventually go up, but it might be a good one to include. I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure. I got a bunch of stuff, like literally, like, these are kind of, these are bricks, so I probably, probably won't send them those. All right, the package is boxed up. So guys, it's been about two days since I shipped the package to Common Hype and they shipped their package to me. Uh, we both received their packages today, so it's pretty cool. They're gonna do their unboxing and I'm gonna do my unboxing, but they're gonna call me after they do the unboxing and let me know how they feel about it. Did I make a good mystery box for them? I think I did but go watch their video, then come back here and drop your comment and let me know if you think they won the trade or I won the trade. I think it's honestly pretty even right now, but this is something that we're gonna have to determine in the long run. That's how we are gonna find out who won because if my shoe ends up releasing again and it's not as lim limited as we think it is. Wow. I knew you guys were gonna get happy when you saw both those boxes. Uh oh. Dude, you gotta tell, you gotta tell us about this. Yeah, you gotta give us some some explanation on Alright ladies and gentlemen, the moment you guys have been waiting, is it good? 
and action. All right, guys, the moment you have been waiting for, or maybe the moment that I've been waiting for, here is the package. It is finally here. The trade has been done. And uh, go to their YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down below and go see how they feel about the mystery box. They opened it up. They already uploaded the video. So by the time you guys are watching this, it's already up and you could see if they liked it or they didn't like it. Spoiler alert, of course I did a good job. I got the shoes now. They wrapped it up so nicely in this bubble, bubble wrap vibes. You already know what it is. But we also have a few other pickups right here. One of them is for you, Mina. It was sent to us by a company, but unfortunately they sent it to you in the wrong size. <laughs> wow. I'm Total. glad you're laughing about it. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. I look back at the email and I didn't specify that you're a men's size seven and they sent you a woman's size seven. Anyway, but look, this is the main one right here. And I'm also going to, after I show you guys the shoes, I'm gonna explain to you why I prefer to do a trade over just buying the shoe. Like some people would be like, Kais, you have the money. Why don't you just pay instead of doing trades? I'm a smart man now, all right? I'm not the old Kais anymore. Nina, I know you have all the other Air Force One off-whites. This is the only one you don't have for now, but I have it. I literally didn't even say anything. I didn't even make any remark for once. I kept my <laughs> mouth shut. I said nothing because I decided I'm gonna take the high road and what do you do? That you shove it in you. my face, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just pointing it out because I know what you're thinking. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Mina, you haven't even seen these in person. I babe. know, I know. That's why I didn't want to film for him, guys. <laughs> these are so beautiful. Hit the intro. What's in the box? So in the box, ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Off-White Air Force One. Wow, these are so clean man i didn't think i would like an all yellow shoe like this but mina what's your first impressions give it to him does anybody have a size 6.5 or 7 for me hopefully we're going to a lot of the sneaker events we'll be at the miami sneaker convention we might pull up the sneaker con bay area we don't know about that one yet but i'm sure we'll find your size eventually we just haven't seen it yet your time will come but hey i got my pair let me enjoy it for the minute so yeah, this is the Off-White Air Force One. Do you know what they're actually calling this one? I thought it was originally the Canary Yellows, but I think people are calling it like the taxi for some reason. I mean, obviously it looks no, like, there's no the way. colorway looks like a taxi, but man, these are sick. It's got the Off-White tag right there on the tongue, obviously with the Off-White Air Force Ones, they do the whole distressed look, the unfinished sock liner, the Off-White branding on the inside, the silver swoosh, baby, the silver swoosh, it's very rare. I think this one goes hand in hand, or this one aligns with the exhibition in Boston or something? University Gold. University Gold. I'm that a, sounds more like it. I'm just gonna call them Canary Yellows. Canary Yellows would be the ones. The ones, yeah, I know, but it's 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 yellow, so. You see, I got a school pop a cute these days. <laughs> cheese! <laughs> you know, every time I say cheese now, cheese, or whatever, I cut it out of the vlog, because every time I've said it, people comment, like, that's so cringe, so I just cut it out when I well, say I'm, it. Well, I Because I say it, it I say it without realizing that I'm saying it. These are fire, man. I'm so happy to have these in the collection, and, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing these. I'm not crying, you are. We'll get you these, Mina. Don't worry, all right? Don't worry. I think I'm gonna wear these to a... Look how much he's smiling, you guys. Because this is the... The last, like, expensive sneaker I got was the Dior Ones. Which... That's an amazing shoe, yeah. obviously. Like, obviously that's an expensive shoe, but I don't go buying $3,000, $4,000 shoes like I used to. Like, for the most part, most of the stuff I get recently have been under the thousand dollar range. This is like the most expensive shoe that I've gotten since last year. So this is my most expensive sneaker of 2021. So far because <laughs> it's looking like the Travis ones are going to break the piggy bank because those are stupid limited. But I, I think these are fire. I think we should put these on feet. Come, on. come here, come here, please come around in my messy studio. All right, you want to go under the table? All right, we're going under the table with my Toy Story stand socks. Shout out to the Pizza Planet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and they don't fit big like the blue pair. Oh my god, they look They're so, so cute. They look so good on feet. Let me find you really quick. Don't get my double chin. I'm yeah. very happy with this trade. Shout out to Common Hype. I appreciate them. More good content coming from them with me. More collabs, stuff like this, even when I'm not in AZ. Like I mentioned, why did I decide to do a trade instead of like just buying these straight up? And that's because for me, sneakers, I love sneakers. And obviously I want every sneaker that comes out. I want the hottest sneakers, but I also have to keep in mind that I am a content creator. And when you're making content about something that can become expensive, like you're always gonna have to buy the new shoes to make the content. You have to be smart with it. You can't just 
buy a million shoes and let it stack up. You gotta either sell them to make room for new ones or you gotta trade them. So me getting rid of those four shoes that I didn't personally want, like I already made videos about them, you know, I thought about it and I was like, okay, I'm cool with getting rid of these. And I got to make a video on these right here and I get to add them to my collection. So that's why I did this, decided to do a trade for these rather than just paying straight up for them. I'm trying to make some big boy purchases in my life. 2022, new car is coming soon. I'm trying to be smarter with my money. I'm not one of those guys. I don't have like a $100,000 chain. I don't do that types of stuff. You barely see me in Supreme anymore. Like I'm, I'm being a lot smarter with my purchases. So thank you for the trade common hype. I appreciate you guys. And Amina, I'll, I'll, I'll put the camera on the tripod for the rest of these unboxings, but so you don't have to. Wait, I want to know what my shoe is. Oh yeah, your shoe. Let me show you your shoe. Collaboration with a company called Headley and Bennett? Headley and Bennett, yeah. yeah. Headley and Bennett. So this is their new collaboration with Vans. They sent these over and they're pretty clean, man. Very clean colorway, all white. They look a little big, so maybe you'll be able to squeeze your foot in them. They sent it over, you know, being from California, Vans have always been a, a pair of shoes that I love. So we got two other shoes that we just picked up. You wanna just film these real quick or should I just put on? Let's put on the tripod. I feel bad, your arm's probably hurting. I'm gonna go make some TikToks. I'm hey. coming back to TikTok, guys. Hey, follow go, me. go follow Mina on TikTok as a thank you for her or just putting up with my filming <laughs> y'all don't see the behind i'm gonna be honest with you you know wifey appreciation you get guys always say oh mina like this this that like y'all hate on mina for certain things she helps me a lot with the content like wifey is always by my side so anytime there's a video i need to film anytime there's an event i need to go to she's down she never says no and she's always about the grind so when you're a man who's on the grind and you you're following your dreams if your wifey is there to support that and you know help you get through it and help you film that content and and get your job done then you need then you're literally in the perfect situation and i'm literally in the perfect situation so wifey appreciation time guys go follow her on tiktok i'll leave the link for her tiktok down below and why not go follow her on instagram as well so uh, anyway we do have two more shoes guys two more pickups for today's video this is a double up right here but i actually decided to pull pull the trigger on these because they're only going for like 30 dollars over retail and i got them in a woman's size this is a life hack if you get these in a women's size it's cheaper so i'm a size 10 i got these in a women's 11 and a half it's a size and a half up if you do the conversion the neutral gray air jordan ones i got a second pair it's literally the same shoe as the men's i really don't see no difference at all the reason why i wanted to get these is because one like i said they were stupid cheap and and like this is literally the best summer shoe in my opinion yeah i bought them because I, I have another life hack video idea and i'm going to be using these for the life hack so stay tuned for that video i love the life hack videos and i haven't done one in a very long time and speaking of wifey appreciation guess who hit on sneakers app for me in my size for the first time she never hits but she for the first time in a long time hit best lebron of all time they brought him back in 2021 I told you guys we are going to Miami soon and it's only right that we take these with us because these are the South Beach LeBron eights baby we hit on them for retail i'm not even going to bring up the fact that there are factory flaws on this shoe because these days every nike shoe has factory flaws it seems like but this is a shoe that i've never owned and i recently got the miami Knights. now we just added the south beaches to the collection and these are sick the wow Smells like Play-Doh. This is the best part in my opinion, the lion face with the eyes right there. You know, during LeBron's Miami days when he was winning his back-to-back -back championships over there, he was kind of looked at as the villain and he kind of embraced it too. And I feel like that logo with the eyes just, you know, going at you kind of like was symbolized that. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited to have these. Thank you, thank you, Mina. Guys, go follow her. This is, wow.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Please smash the thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get at least 5,000 thumbs up, right? We've been hitting the 2,000 to 3,000 range, but I just wanna see if the Dream Crew is as strong as they used to be. I need 5,000 thumbs up, make it happen. And as I mentioned before, guys, Miami Sneaker Convention, August 7th, I'm gonna be in the building. I'm actually hosting the event, so I'll be on stage. I'll be walking around, interacting with you guys. We're also gonna have merch there. So yeah, man, make sure you guys pull up. It's gonna be a dope event, and I'm excited to head to Miami, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's gonna be a movie man and i know i say that but uh it's gonna be a real movie I promise all right so with all that being said guys i'll see you on the next one i'm out of here peace